one of the things we've talked about in, in my class is the difficulty of talking about race. And I just wanted to ask you, how can we have conversations about race when people have such different experiences and different perceptions of the problem? You know, I think this is part of why campuses, while we are a, uh, an epicenter for some of the challenges in terms of the postering that's going on, we're also an important part of the solution. And because mm -hmm. as places where you all come here to gain knowledge and learn skills, and some of those skills are critical thinking and that ability to have those conversations that are very, very important. And so I think it is part of who we are as a university, mm -hmm. drawing people out to do that. And I think we have to do it in lots of different ways. And whether it's coming together as a community in K and hearing different points of view straight out, or a number of the conversations, and I'm not sure, I think they're, it's called courageous conversations or I crucial. think it's crucial, yeah. the crucial yeah. conversations that are coming up. And one of the things, those kinds of conversations, promoting those across our campus and making sure that people from different groups come together. Also having these conversations in the schools. And a number of our different schools are inviting guests and others that can be a part of having those conversations. I think we need to encourage them. And I think it was interesting for those of you who may not have participated in the student rally on the Friday after the most recent incident, the Iman said, you know, he said he wanted to speak. He wanted to go ahead and have that conversation. And he wanted to have that conversation with the person who was the perpetrator of the crime mm. and encourage that person to come forward mm. to have the conversation. Instead of trying to create fear through your point of view, come forward. And so those, I think each of these steps are important to encouraging as a campus that we have the conversations and we talk about the things to get the real facts. And the facts are how you live and what you perceive. Mm -hmm. And someone else hearing that is incredibly important. How you feel about that conversation or how you feel about the incident, how the incidents affect you. When people can stop, pause, listen to each other about that, that's when I think we'll make real progress. Okay. In addition to taking specific actions, the conversations are important, there are actions that are important too.